Hi guys, so today I'll be trying out the Anna Griffin uh, Baby Carriage Easel Die Set. I picked this up on HSN, I'll have it linked there. Uh, that would be an affiliate link, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items through those links. So thanks for using those, if and when you can. So for me, I didn't pick this up so much to make the easel card, which we'll still do today, but for me it was just to have this cute little carriage like as a motif like on a scrapbook page or something like that. I think that'd be really cute. Um, but we're gonna make the card today and just really simply um, and just go with that. So uh, let's see. Of course you always need the base, the easel base, and then you have your shadow layer, you have the carriage itself, and then you have like a little wheel which is nice. You have like a little uh, bear. So we'll try to use those pieces and then of course you're going to finish it off with stickers and other cute things. Um, you have what would be the stopper, this piece here. You can use that. You can use, you know, embellishment stickers or whatever. But um, for now, I am going to get this guy out. And I haven't chosen papers for this like at all or even thought about it. Oh, what I wanted to do was measure this for you guys. Again, the length of a die doesn't really matter because if your machine can accommodate the width of it, you can just double up like if your plates are too short. Like even if you didn't have longer, let's, well it's not going to fit in this, but let's say this is as big as your plates are. You put your paper, your die and everything, you run it through. This part that's still sticking out, just turn it around and run it through the other way. So that's just how you would do that if something is too long um, for the plates that you have, but let's see. Uh, I would say it's an 11 inches by metal to metal, about 5. Yep, yeah, I think 5 inches at the w at the widest, so um, pretty good size there. And of course I will do the shadow layer. Now if you don't like the way this works out, sometimes I just, one of my pet peeves is that the layers are kind of weird. <laughs> Like, I wish this one was the same size as this base, that would be better. But it's a little bit smaller, so you are going to see some of this edge around the edge of this. Some people just use this for the actual shaped card. Like, don't even use this. Just put this on a piece of paper that's folded in a way that you can do that, right? Um, just leave this off the edge. But that's up to you. And then you do another one to put it on top, so it's all complete. And then you have your pretty layer, too. So, you know, whatever it is that you like. Ah! Okay, so for me, I'm going to go grab papers. We need something for the base. We need our background. We need this beautiful topper. And I don't know why. I just feel like that should be gold. But I think gold is kind of garish for a baby um, thing. So it'll be a solid color. I'm just not sure what. When you see these things, what they did was they cut it. So they run it through a couple times. And then they fussy cut or just cut across there. And then, you know, change the look of the um, top parts. Maybe that's what we'll do. Maybe we'll run it through some gold paper and then just top this top part I need through some other papers. And then they kind of covered up the junction because it might look not great. So that's smart. We'll talk about the wheels in just a minute. So let's just do the very basic easel card and then uh, we'll go from there. So let me grab some papers and I'll show you what the papers are that I'm going to use and then I'll run them through. I went all over the place for this. So um, I was like, well I need pattern paper and I still have my carte noir sitting here <laughs> next to me from the uh, crop at home. So I thought, oh that's so pretty. And then this one happens to have like a green on it too and I thought that's pretty for like, just pretty. You're not going to see a lot of the base. The other thing about the base is you have to think about where you're going to cut. So if I cut down here and I fold this over, the back side of that's going to be showing, the rough cut side. If you do it the other way, do it on the other side, the rough cut, you know, is going to be on this. So like, just think about how you want to position your paper. Now if I fold this over and it's black on this side, again, that's just so odd. Oh well, um, we're going to go for it. You might want to pick some papers that aren't so contrasting, but I really like this green and stuff, so um, I'm going to go for it. Let me trim that one down. I had pulled out a blue paper earlier because I thought, oh, that would be cute, like pink and blue, and but um, it's not going to work for me. So, since I chose this carte noir paper, I'm going to do that for this part. I still have the pink that I want to use. And that is going to be, oh, what am I going to do? What am I doing? I should have a black piece of paper. Sorry, guys, I didn't bring it up. Okay, this is some black paper, and I have some heavyweight black cardstock right here behind me. I just forgot to grab it. So I'm going to run this one through the black paper. So it's going to have that black paper. I know, kind of dark for a child's <laughs> or baby card, but that's okay. This guy, I can run it through like this because honestly, I don't care about this piece. We're not going to use it, but I guess if it can just stay there and just make it more sturdy, I'll just run the whole thing through. 
And if you need to run it through a machine that has separate, you know, embossing, then go for it because obviously this does have some pattern to it. And then this part, I'm only going to get the pink part from it. So, I mean, if you run the whole thing through so you have a whole cart, go for it. But I'm only going to need this top part, so I'm just going to use a piece of paper like this. Okay. And I'll just tape that down and run it through. And I'll be back. I'm not using this blue. <laughs> it's kind of interesting as I was working with this right now. I had an idea. I was like, you know what? You know how I said you can use this, the shadow layer, as its own... Uh, easel card base or just shape card base basically. So I got something in my throat there and I still have it. Okay, <laughs> so with this one, maybe you can still do the same. Your paper has to be obviously a certain size, but if you were to fold it completely and then just leave this part, you know what I'm saying, if you have your folded card right up to this edge and then run it through and you would still have this shape. Does that make sense? Um, for the base complete. That's the other thing. That's kind of what drives me nuts. It's only half. Um, so you see that one part of it. Anyway, maybe I'm not making sense, but <laughs> there are different ways to look at these dies and kind of play with them and have it suit your taste, right? Um, okay, so, ooh, yeah. This is the front facing up the inside of the card, right? And then this part folds over. As you see, the black is going to be visible because it's the opposite side of our paper. And then there's still an edge left all around where you're going to have green you know, showing and the black, but I mean, it's what it is. <laughs> That's just kind of how she does it. So uh, with these guys, I can go ahead and stick them down right now, or you can do whatever you like. But this guy right here has a score line. It's basically meant to go like that. So when it pops up, it's like that. Okay, so we're going to put glue on this, what's facing us. And, you know, you can put this down and not get too messy about it, but I'm just looking left and right where that might go, looking at the wheels, that it has a nice area all around, and that will hold that down. This one has an especially odd little top bit here, but, you know, whatever. Now, um, I might put that to the side for a moment, just leave something on it. I always do check, though, to make sure I didn't glue it down completely, right? You don't want glue to come out here. And that it is just on that tab. Okay, that looks pretty good. So, let's put some weight on that. I don't know. Okay. All right. And then I have my pieces. So, like I said, I only ran this top piece through. And I actually ran it through with an extra piece of paper because I wanted to get that embossing without... Um, going through the whole rubber mat and all that kind of stuff. And basically, we're just going to cut this. Now, if you look at your example, it looks like they cut it right under this. There's like a detail there, and then there's this part. And it looks like they cut it right under the detail. And I'm just going to use my scissors, and hopefully it doesn't look, you know, like a kidner card did it. Okay, there we go. And then this part, I'm just going to cut. Now, again, they put flowers there, so you don't really see that portion. It's a really cute design. I love the little, like, pram look of it. Um, okay. And, you know, our gorgeous gold paper. I mean, look how pretty. So I'm just going to clean this out, and I will be right back. Okay, so let's see what we have here. We have that shaped, or our easel card. Obviously, we need a stopper. That black background, this gorgeous gold pram, and then this piece that just accents that. Oh, so cute. It's really hard for me to um, just like pop things up like this, especially when they're like this delicate, but there will be areas that you can do that with. Uh, what I want to show you is like I would put it back here. So this is what I was trying to say. This is really cute as a motif, just like on a scrapbook page, and you put the little wheels and like your little teddy bear, you know, cute. Um, so for now, I like the wheels kind of the way they are, to be honest. Um, I don't know that I want to do a whole background piece and then another gold wheel um, attire. I was thinking about using brown because it's a nice color to complement what's going on. If I had that, if I had that, and then is this just being delicate again? Or is that weird? I don't know. These guys overlap each other if you just use the background. Let's see? because they're so big. Uh, I'm thinking of something more like this, so I, I'll probably just go with that. So I'm going to cut these out of some brown paper, like dark brown or something, but I need two of them, so I'll do that. Um, and then our little teddy bear guy. He's very cute. Um, let's go with 
like a beigey colored teddy maybe with a brown background okay and i'll be right back so i again i didn't use that outer one and i didn't really bother to like what's the word emboss these i'm gonna glue them just a little bit offset so you still see some of the glue that's no, in the glue <laughs> so we don't want to see the glue so you still see some of the um gold underneath so let's just focus on this for right now and this piece i'm also just going to stick down i mean you can obviously pop it up excuse me <laughs> i hope that's not the beginning of hiccups and you might have heard my water not water what's it called ice dispenser just dump some ice I hear it loudly um i'm gonna put something on top of there and then for both wheels I'm just gonna stick them down now you can definitely put dimensionals probably in this middle area and that will help you pop them up but they're gonna be super delicate and up and I'm just not gonna do that so let's do this and again just a little bit offset so you can see that little bit of that gold underneath and I'll do the same thing for this guy and again they kind of Still, one has to be on top of the other or under the other. They fit a little closer together this way. Uh, and then my little bear. I just did the same brown from the wheels and the creamy colored paper with the embossing. And I'll just stick those guys together. I suppose you could paper piece if you wanted to, like a little heart, the little heart, that'd be cute. Or his little cheeks, you know, little collar, <laughs> very cute. Uh, I'm just not gonna do anything like that. <laughs> You can definitely deck out this little bear. I love that he has a little collar on his shirt. That's very adorable. Okay, I'll be right back. So I kept something on top of this just to flatten it out, and that really worked. You know what I like to do? I always like to put like a big plate like this and then the whole machine on top. And that looks really good. Okay, so we have that. We have our little guy. It's very dark right now. <laughs> for a child's uh, thing here. Uh, I think we will go ahead and pop it up. So I went ahead and grabbed some flowers. These are Carte Noir floral stickers. And I grabbed some different dimensionals because I want to go ahead and line this out. I mean, maybe, well, I don't know. So maybe I should use all black dimensionals. And I will try to remember to link this and I always mention these and then I forget to link them because I'm so silly. All right, so let's put that back there. And wherever I can put larger ones, I'll do that. And then like in here, we definitely want to put some. Now from these packs, and I mention this every time, just so you're aware, these guys are the same height. <laughs> these kind of middle, oh, hmm. These mids, <laughs> it's kind of early in the morning for someone to be ringing the doorbell. Uh, these tiny ones, or the midsize, sorry, and the large ones are the same height. But if you start using the small ones, I'm gonna have to pause in a second to go see what that's about. Um, they are thinner. Hopefully you can see that. These are thinner, so they don't mix and match very well. I'm going to put this right here. Let me go check the door. I'll be right back. So no problem. I'm going to cover up this hole. I know this, we can definitely put smaller ones, but um, I wasn't super fan of this little hole anyway. So hopefully, and actually I don't know if I do, have some little flowers. I know on one of these images they had like a little tiny flower in the center, but I don't know that I have any small enough here, but it might be in a different kit or I'll come up with something. I don't know. Um, but we could just use the small ones and go around the edges. And then again, this is not the same height as this, so it's kind of a bummer. So what I'm going to do is take like a mid-size one and just cut them. <laughs> the paper being black on the back always throws me off. Okay. And let's see if we can get that on there. We'll see. I might have to trim that down too. And a little bit there. And I'm going to leave that open because I'll probably stick the little teddy bear in there. Yeah, I need to trim this down. Okay, I'm going to take all the backings off and um, I'll just pop this here. Why not? <laughs> Uh, take all the backings off and, uh, ooh, see. Ay, ay, ay. Let me see if I can do something about that. Maybe an even skinnier piece. I'm gonna cut this in three. I just, you just need a little something to help you out, obviously. Right down there. Just to support that a little bit. 
and maybe I'll put some on the side too. Okay, I'll be back. Took all those off and I probably should have seen where this is supposed to go before I started, before I took all the carriers off. Eh, something like that. Oh, that is so cute. Again, probably could have brought it down just a little bit because I'm barely hitting that top there. But very cute. And so now, um, I don't know if I'm going to use that stopper. I do want to put this little guy in here. And that's kind of interesting. Hmm. Let me put him there. Or in the very back, you know. Huh. Where do they put it? Oh, they covered it up. <laughs> He's just kind of there. Uh, it's just kind of interesting that there's a slit right here. And I don't know if that's decoration. Or if he's there, you know, you can kind of see that. I feel like he kind of does need to go back here. Hmm. All right, well, let's put him there. <laughs> Why not? I'll put a little glue on the back of his little legs. And I'm putting him behind the shadow layer. Okay. He's just sticking out right there. Super cute. And I do have a sentiment. Actually, let me go grab it. Um, it's from the Spellbinders Better Press. I already made the tutorial because I am going out of town. And maybe when you're watching this, I'm already out of town. I don't know. But um, uh, just for a few days. But I like to stockpile videos. And that's why I didn't have a video like on Tuesday because I was making videos to have to meet my obligations with some companies and things like that and have them ready because they need to go out or deadlines or whatever, you know. So, um,. Why does that matter? What was I saying? <laughs> See, I already lost my train of thought. Oh, so I already have some things done up for the better press, and some one of the sentences, sentences, sentiments, I think is the word I'm looking for, um, was like, welcome little one. So I think I'll use that. So let me go grab it, and hopefully I have one in a color that goes with all this. I mean, look how pretty these are. I mean, they can just go anywhere. Oh, lovely. Okay, and then for a stopper, I might just use one of the flowers. So, um, again, I was thinking about covering this up with something cute, but I don't know. I might have to look in my stash and see if I find something else. What I was thinking is maybe I can cut something down from here, you know, which I would not want to do, but, like, if you cut around here, you can definitely put that on the little wheel. Or, you know what? We can just put it like that. <gasps> That's something to think about. Okay, anyway, I'll be right back. <laughs> I think that looks really cute. And look at Welcome Little One. And again, I mean, it can be popped up. I probably will do that. Okay, so these are stickers, but there are holes there. So what I'm going to do is just put some glue. I love the way that looks. So I'm going to put glue on here, and hopefully it hits where it needs to hit for that to stay. Um, just like in here. And then this one also. I am in loving. I am in loving. Yes, the way this looks. That is so cute. Okay, so we're going to hold those guys there. Put some dimensionals on the back of this guy, and they're going to need to be pretty high. Well, maybe... Let me see. I feel like that needs to be white. So, yeah, that uh, sentiment came from the Better Press, and it's like 20 sentiments all done at once, and I love them. Um, and I happen to have one that's like on a very light bisque colored paper, and I think that works out. So let me see. I think this might be okay. Ah! <laughs> there we go there. Here we go. I probably shouldn't take the carriers off until I know, but oh well. And then we need some glue here just to support that. And I think that looks really, really cute. Oh my gosh. I need to know somebody who's having a little girl. <laughs> my friends, I think we're beyond those years. If it happens now, that would be a huge surprise and probably, yeah, mixed feelings, you know? <laughs> Let's see. Look at that. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. But again, if I was doing a scrapbook page, I would just do this shadow and this topper and not have that background piece. And it would just be a really cute thing with like some images, you know, whatever, or maybe on one side of the page and, you know, however. But this is, oh, <laughs> Silly me, you guys. Get rid of that. Nope, let's not do it. Thank goodness that glue is still wet. <laughs> Hello, this is not a shaped card. It is an easel card, so yeah. Well, good thing this glue goes away and it's impossible to see once it's dry, so. There we go. All right, little oopsie. Look at that. I love it. So, signature card, and I saw that Anna had brought some signature card like kits. Um, actually, they're showing one right here. You know, here also a little bit of one there. Um, definitely, you know, 
too so you can write your message or you know put it on the back just whatever you like um, and then for this to hold this up oh that's kind of grown up a big iris and this is basically the same as this which is very interesting I don't think I want to use that one so let me dig through just to find something not just a rose huh no 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 mm. This is really big. <laughs> Let me just dig through and find some pretty stuff that'll help me stop my uh, easel. Okay, I'll be right back. I found the right one. And the reason I'm not using the stopper is just, you know, this part. Um, it's just because I don't really have anything to go with it. I, I'm not going to put a sentiment on it, so I feel like it's weird just to have it there. But she just has it there, too. So, you know, cut your stopper. If you're going to use this, you def definitely want to layer it up with some dimensionals because that's the whole point. You need something that's high. Um, it can't just be flat because then the card will just <laughs> do this. So uh, I'm choosing these beautiful little flowers and that should that should do it. So let's take this off of here. And I am super in love with this card. How cute. Oh my gosh. Um, and let's just put it like... I'm basically looking at the leaves to help me stop this, so I'll put it like there. I know it kind of melts in because of the greenery in the background. I mean, it's like exactly the same because they're from the same uh, lineup, right? Carte Noir, so <laughs> it just matches perfectly. But that is very cute. Oh my gosh. Alright guys, well, thanks for watching. I hope that gave you some idea. Yeah, don't put your teddy bear <laughs> in the back. I should have thought about that while I was working with it, but didn't even occur to me, obviously. Um, all right, guys, thanks for watching. I, I think this is just the cutest. And the finished size of the card is from the very top there to the bottom, seven inches, I would say. And then, you know, I'm trying to look to the farthest out, five. So yeah, seven by five. So it fits in your five by seven uh, envelope. And I just think it's very cute, very cute. All right, guys, um, I'll have images coming up. I'll have the links in the description box, and I will see you all at the next one. Bye now.